I met, uh, I met Jeff Jones in 1967 at the Statler Hilton Hotel in New York City during what was referred to as a scarp con. Hang William sings a lovesick blues. In looking around at other artists, there may be something about a, one individual's art that captures the young artist's imagination and makes them say, hey, I'd like to do that. I'm gonna get better. Beautiful archetypes, they're gestural, um, respectful, um, there's just a, as, as a woman and, and an artist, I just I see it as just a beautiful representation of a female figure in, in a narrative format. I think it's, you know, every, every person, whether they're artists or not, I think you have to find a way to, to, to fit in, in society. Definitely, I think he grew up in, people didn't really talk about their emotions. From down south, the sound south, gentility, you know, you don't really, you don't really talk about how you feel, what's happening to you, it's all very surface and every well, there's a real misnomer about art and painting that you suffer for your artwork. You don't suffer for your artwork. Your artwork is a gift. It makes you who you are. Oh yeah, yeah, they had the studio with Barry Windsor Smith and Mike Kaluta and Jeff Jones. They was, that was a new breed, you know, these guys with the pencils. That was their, that was their weapon, that was their sword. There's being a freak alone. And then there's being in a group of freaks. It's far better to be in a group of freaks. You can, you're much more hard to be a freak alone. Is it's very tough. To you're ex all your vulnerabilities, you just you can't cover them. You will be identified eventually as as somehow the thing that does not belong. There.